Welcome to Office 2010 video number 44. Hey, we're studying Access and we are we have opened our wooden crafts database that we created. Uh, two videos ago we imported and created tables. Last video we created relationships. This video we want to create our first object that's a form. Now we have three tables here we want a form for this products table. If I double click and open this we know that we can enter data here but usually in database databases the table are big we just leave them alone. We have a user interface on top of the table called a form that we enter data into. Now in our first video we saw how that works in this video we want to see how to create a form. Oh, This is so hard. You just click on the actual table you want go to create and I'm going to click form that's it, a one click form. Now you could go underneath in design view and do all sorts of things but for uh, this class this is perfectly sufficient. The only thing you want to be careful of and we mentioned this in video number one is that when you create it it is in this in between view. I'm going to go up here and if you want in layout view to to change some things or add some formatting you can see there's some design ribbons up here you can do that, but we're not. I'm going to keep it just like that. It is fine. I'm going to make sure if I'm entering raw data to go to form view. Now we want to see how to use the form to enter data. Notice down here we have our little navigation area. There's only one record. Now if you're following along you probably already downloaded the woodencraftsteps.docx uh, this is our raw data, so I'm going to use this as my guide. I'm going to enter a couple of records here and just test this form, see that the data validation carries over from the table, and uh, I'll show you maybe one or two tricks here for entering data. Now I'm a terrible typer, so I get to, I'll expose myself here, but I'm going to click this uh, new record, and right at the top, I'm going to type, this is a blocks and box, so it's going to be BL23, notice that looks like it's, oh, it carried over from the table, this is a form, right, but all that data validation carried over, description, blocks and box, I'm hitting tab as I move forward, we've seen throughout this class, I always think of tab as moving forward, shift tab as going backwards, we saw that it works in dialog boxes, it works in uh, web pages, it works in Excel, it works in Word tables, but tab goes forward. On hand, looks like we have five on hand, tab. The cost is 14.5. Remember, this is an automatically formatted field, tab. The selling price is going to be 27. Don't type in the dollar sign or the point zero zero. Supplier code, this is going to be AP. Notice I just typed A and it AP pops up, so I'm going to hit tab, and then retail, wholesale, all of these are going to be retail. All I do is type R. Now look down here, two of two, I am not going to click new, I'm going to click tab, and as soon as I hit tab you can see uh, three of three and the cursor starts here. So that's really how you should be using the form to enter records. I'll do one more here, CC, this is a coal car, CC14, coal car, on hand, eight, tab, seven, tab, 13, tab, B, H, B, tab, R, we know that retail will pop up because there's only two entries in this field. When I hit tab, you can see down here, it'll go from three of, it'll go to four, so tab. Now we can see the four down here. Oh, look at that. Do I see a form over here? Man, that was a reckless move. That means we entered some records. And no problem, if we had tried to close this, it would ask us if we wanted to save. But we haven't saved this yet. Now if you close that, it'll ask you, but I'm going to control S. Control S, and it's going to assume that we want the same name. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I very much like the same name as the table because this form is a user interface that sits in essence metaphorically on top of the table and just puts data there. So I'm going to name it the same thing and click OK. 
Now I'm going to hit pause for a second to enter to some data and then come back in the last record and show you one last trick for entering data. Now I hit pause and did a bunch of typing. I'm going to type in the last record and actually we'll learn one last trick. UM09 and then USA map. Now I'm going to the next one, two, three fields are numbers. So I'm going to switch over to the number pad and type 12 and then enter. Enter can move forward also, not just tab. And when you're entering lots of number data, much better to use the number pad. So I went uh, 12, enter, 7, enter, 13, enter, and then A, and you can use enter here too if you want, and retail. All right, so now we have our 10 records. I haven't even finished that. I'm going to close it. All right, now here's the moment. We just used a form. We can see that form. That's a, uh, a group of objects there and then tables. But we just used the form to put data here. Let's go check it. Double click and boom, there it is. Now in our next video, we're actually going to start doing queries. And that, that video will be a long video with lots of cool examples of data analysis and calculations. Uh, while creating queries. But make sure that you compare your data entered to the handout so you got the right data. Because when we do queries and we say, show me all the rails, if you don't have it spelled right, it won't work. Now, let's do one other thing. Let's um, just take a look. Oops. Just take a look at the products table. Oh, I'm sorry. The products form, we just did that. Oh, yeah. We just have one record at a time. Now let's create a form of this supplier data. Now think about this. Is there a relationship between this table and this table? Yeah, one to many. So I want to create a form. Create just this button. I love this button. Boop, and then there you go. Whoa. Well, first off, immediately I'm going to get out of that uh, view, form view. I'm going to click Control S. I'm going to accept that name, supplier data. And just like that, look at that. We can go through the records and see from the supplier data form, boop, there's the supplier's information, and there are the toys. Totally cool. Oh, so ER, we don't have any from ER. Uh, ta uh, forward in the navigation. So all right, uh, we're going to close this. And in our next video, we are going to have more fun than you ever thought possible with access queries. All right, see you next video.